Guess why? Because he a hoe ass nigga. You ain't getting shit. You got a bed. I sent you a bed. Would you like to see the receipts and the couch? Would you like to see what? Do y'all want to know? Y'all want that? You want to see? Let's talk about it. How you wake up every day and text Natalie Nunn that you're going to extort me by you sleeping on the bed that I got you sitting on the couch like, nigga, you're a joke. I helped you out. You and everybody around you. For you to be a hoe-ass nigga and get on the internet and do all of this is insane. Sextortion and extra, it's all a real thing. And I, if you think that I'm not rich enough to lawyer the fuck up, you're delusional. And any little OnlyFans check you think you finna take because you signed up for OnlyFans, any little check you think you got, nigga, I'm garnishing all your wages. Every last one of them. All these fucking tech, you threatening me if I don't do this and I don't give you that, you're gonna extort... Nigga, go to, I'll tell it. I'm telling it. Would you like me to tell all of it? <laughs> Would you like me to tell all of it? Because I don't got a problem. I'll tell it all. At this point, bitch, when I'm on a whole break with my husband and we're doing an amazing job co-parenting and I just don't feel like it's uh, important enough for me to tell the whole world my business because we're on a break. We're back. We're about to be courtside tonight at the Kings game. Kings versus the Bulls. $10,000 seats. <laughs> Curtis, you were never going to be Jacob. You were never going to be Jacob. Talking about send me a Rolex because Jacob got a... Jacob gets a new Rolex every other fucking month. It's Christmas every day for, for, for Jacob. None of you guys are going to be Jacob. None of, Okay, it could be a break again tomorrow. I don't know. I just... I need a break. Um, I need a break. Give me my space for a minute. Give me a break. I took a break. It's okay. 13 years in marriage. I took a break. So I took a break. I don't know what I was in. Jeez. Because it's more, it's, it's more called convenient. It was a convenient situation. Okay. And then <clears throat> convenience. Now you want some clout. Ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't that great. So don't even. I get it. it, it leave it alone. Right. Oh, do you want to keep going? I Because we could keep going. I don't give a fuck at this point. You're not about to extort me. You're not about to tell me if I don't buy you a Rolex or if I don't give you some money that you're about to go tell everybody. Tell them. I'm telling them. I have 40,000 people in my life right now. I'm the clout, nigga. I'll tell it. And you might want to move a little careful now because my fuckers don't like niggas like that. You trying to extort me is insane. And I said, nigga, I don't give a fuck what you go and do or who you go. Matter of fact, I told No Jumper to continue to have your interview today. Please go do his interview. Let him tell whatever the fuck he want to say. I hope you ain't lying, nigga. I hope you don't come with no fucking lies. And my lawyer will be there at No Jumper today to serve you with the extortion shit you're doing and sextortion shit you're trying to do. And you have no story because the story is, is I was on a break. <laughs> I was on a break. Co-parenting at its best. Co-parenting at its best. 2022, 2023. We're in 2024. You pulled up to Miami. You were acting insane. You showed up. You thought that I was going to let you come stay in my hotel room. I didn't. Okay, my security, Leo, had to nicely tell you, Natalie, is, you, you can't come here to the hotel. You, try, you, you, know that, you know places that I like to stay. So you pulled up to the one hotel. You pulled up over to the, to the Fountain Blue. You were, look, you were everywhere looking for me. I get it. But I'm not the one you want to be looking for. I told you to leave me the fuck alone. I told you to leave me the fuck alone. You don't want to leave me alone. You're continuously, you're popping up to my, I told you, do not come to Miami. You kept texting me saying, I'm about to come to Miami today. I know you're going to be there for that. I said, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Leave me alone. That's what I said. You came anyways. You showed up anyways. You have threatened me that if I don't give you a Rolex or if I don't, give you money, or if I don't send you gifts that you're going to tell everybody, that is against the law. And you know what I said? I don't give a fuck what you say, because I'm going to tell it. 
Stop fucking with me, bro. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm dead ass serious. Leave me alone. You keep on playing games. I'm not playing your game anymore. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care, Jacob. We're here. We're going to the game tonight. We don't get we don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I was on a break. I was I was taking a break. Break is over. Leave me alone. Go back to your house. Wherever the fuck you go. Leave me alone. You're not. You're not. You're now going and you're sending the videos around. Ooh, I can't. Oh my god. Anything. Send it all. Go. Can't wait for the Lord. I can't. I'm I'm so happy for you. The cloud that you're I'm so happy for you. You're getting all the attention you wanted. You wanted everyone to know that we were a thing. You wanted everyone to know. It was like in your, it was like your, it was like your goal in life. It was. It was your goal. <laughs> so happy you're living your, I'm so happy you're living your dreams. But I won't be sending you any money. And I'm not sending you a Rolex. Matter of fact, today I might go buy Jacob another one. I mean, we just, he did just, he did just, I did just go crazy up in the Chanel Fendi and uh and uh Hermes for us the other day. I get it, man. Moral of the story, ladies. Watch out for these men. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> ladies, moral of the story, ladies, let me talk to my ladies. I'm trying to tell you, I can't even take a break in peace. Like a break in peace. Motherfucker want to go and try to extort you. Motherfucker want to go and try to eh, expose you for some clout. Because you ain't got no money from it. I didn't send you a dime from it. I didn't. Because you're not about to play with me. Now, when you used to say, oh, I need help. I need some groceries. I said, oh, all day. I had Jacob, I sent Curtis money for groceries. Jacob, I sent him a bed to sleep. I actually also gave him a thousand. I gave him some money for the rent over there in Albany. It was like a thousand dollars. Don't even worry about it. We don't care. You're a joke. You're playing a dumb game. And you lost. You lost. <laughs> you lost. And all you want is some fucking money. And all you want is some fucking clout. Your music is not going to do shit. It's not. This was the worst thing to do. It was the worst thing to do. 100%. And we don't care. How you take a break, right? How you think you finna play with me? And, and try to go and... Uh, oh, yeah... I'm going to make someone else leak this to make it look like, no. <laughs> Low London just texted me and said, I want to be Jacob so bad. I don't get it. It's like, y'all want to be in my, in my marriage so fucking bad. It's insane. It's insane. Y'all want to, so I'm telling y'all, I can take a break in my life, in my everyday life, if I feel like it. Jacob's happy. I'm happy. We're fine. We took a break. I'm sure Jacob got some baddies too. <laughs> Who knows? Jeez, leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> like, what? Y'all be in the comments like, so is it an open marriage? Are they, like, y'all are so nosy. Damn. A break. Okay, cool. Now you want to threaten me that if I don't buy you a watch, you're not getting a watch. You're not getting a watch from, you're not getting shit. You got a bed and a couch and some fucking grocery money, nigga. Chunk change. You're delusional. You're fucking crazy. Dead ass. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. It didn't work. Then I get a call from No Jumper and you want to keep playing. Do the interview. Go. Go up to No Jumper. Go. Go. Please hurry. Go. I'm going to tell the story before you are. You think you put a one up on me.